King James Bible, the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 13. Thus saith the Lord unto me, Go and get thee a linen girdle, and put it upon thy loins, and put it not in water. So I got a girdle according to the word of the Lord, and put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, Take the girdle that thou hast got, which is upon thy loins, and arise, go to Euphrates, and hide it there in a the hole of the rock. So I went and hid it by Euphrates, as the Lord commanded me. And it came to pass after many days that the Lord said unto me, Arise, go to the Euphrates, and take the girdle from thence, which I commanded thee to hide there. Then I went to Euphrates, and digged, and took the girdle from the place where I had hid it, and behold, the girdle was marred. It was profitable for nothing. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah, and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart, and walk after other gods to serve them, and to worship them, shall even be as this girdle which is good for nothing. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so I cause to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel, and the house of Judah saith the Lord, that they might be unto me for a people and for a name, and for a praise and for a glory, but they would not hear. Therefore thou shalt speak unto them this word, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Every bottle shall be filled with wine, and they shall say unto thee, Do we not certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Then shalt thou say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will fill all the inhabitants of this land, even the kings that sit upon David's throne, and the priests and the prophets and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness. And I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, saith the Lord. I will not pity nor spare nor have mercy, but destroy them. Hear ye and give ear, be not proud, for the Lord hath spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God before he causes darkness, and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, ye turn it into the shadow of death, and make it gross darkness. But if you will not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret places for your pride, and my eyes shall weep sore and run down with tears, because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. Say unto the king and to the queen, Humble yourself, sit down, for your principality shall come down, even the crown of your glory. The cities of the south shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Judah shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly carried away captive. Lift up your eyes, and behold, them that come from the north, where is the flock that is given thee, thy beautiful flock? What wilt thou say when he shall punish thee? For thou hast taught them to be captive, and as chief over thee. Shall not sorrows take thee as a woman in travail? And if thou say in thine heart, Wherefore come these things upon me? For the greatness of thine iniquity are... Thy skirts discovered, and thy heels made bare. Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots? Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Therefore will I scatter them as the stubble that passeth away by the wind of the wilderness. This is thy lot, the portion of thy measures from me, saith the Lord, because thou hast forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. Therefore I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, that thy shame may appear, and have I have seen thine adulteries and thy names, the lewdness of thy whoredom, and thy abominations on the hills and the fields. Woe unto thee, O Jerusalem, wilt thou not be made clean? When shall it be once when shall it once be? Chapter fourteen The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the earth. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish, they are but lack unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up, and their nobles have set their little ones to the waters. They came up to the pits and found no water. They returned with their vessels empty. They were ashamed and confounded and covered their heads. Because the ground is chaffed, for there is no rain in the earth, the plowmen are ashamed. They covered their heads. Yet, yea, the hind also calved in the field and forsook it because there was no grass. And the wild asses did stand in the high places, they snuffed up the wind like dragons. Their eyes did fail because there was no grass. O Lord, through our iniquities testify against us, 
do thou it for thy name's sake, for our backsliding are many, are many, and we have sinned against thee. O the hope of Israel, the Saviour thereof, in the time of trouble, why shouldest thou be as a stranger in the land, and as a wayfaring man that turneth aside to tarry for a night? Why shouldest thou be as a man astonished by the mighty man that cannot save? Yet thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not. Thus saith the Lord unto his people, Thus have they loved to wander, they have not refrained their feet. Therefore the Lord doth not accept them. He will now remember their iniquity and visit their sin. Then said the Lord unto me, Pray not for this people, for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry, and when they offer burnt offerings and an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, Prophets' prophecy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them. Their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. Therefore thou shalt say this word unto them, let mine eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease. For the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach, with a very grievous blow. If I go forth into, f into the field, then behold, the slain with the sword. And if I enter into the city, then behold, them that are sick with famine. Yea, both the prophet and the priest go about, the, go about into a land that they know not. Hast thou utterly rejected Judah? Hath they... Thy soul loath, loath Zion? Why hast thou smitten us, and there is no healing for us? We look for peace, and there is no good, and for the time of healing, and behold trouble. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness, and the iniquity of our fathers, and we have sinned against thee. Do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not thy covenant with us. Are there any among us? the vanities of the Gentiles that can cause rain, or the, can the heavens give us showers? Art not thou he, O Lord, our God? Therefore we will wait upon thee, for thou hast made all these things. 